Memory hoisting is a feature of JavaScript. And I first of all want you to focus on the two words. First of all, we have memory, which we'll get to in a second. But then also you have hoisting. Now hoisting is a feature of JavaScript. And what does hoist mean? It means lift up like a crane. Or if you wanted to change the engine in your car, you need a hoist to hoist the engine out of the car so that you can put the new one in. So hoisting just means to lift up. And the second thing we have is memory. Now, what do we think of when we think of memory? Well, we think of potentially symbol names, names that refer to values that are stored in memory. And these symbol names reference and point to certain values that are in memory. And you can think of the JIT compiler as a chef. Now, when you think about your scripts, don't think that they immediately execute. They don't. JIT compilers are the chefs. They need to prepare their ingredients before they can start cooking. Cooking is executing and preparation is the creation phase, whereby it lexically reads through your code. What do I mean by lexically? Well, you lexically read through a book. You start reading left to write in a lexical manner reading through the code. And that's exactly what the JavaScript parser is doing. It is in fact reading each and every character and it's taking a look particularly for syntax errors. So it wants to know if when it starts executing there's going to be errors, then it won't bother. And also it's not only looking for errors, it's looking for symbol names. Here's a symbol name, such as a variable or a constant name. And also it's looking for the other type of symbol name that refers to a callable object. It's still a symbol name. And what happens is it takes these symbol names and it hoists them lifts them up. Now, I do want to stress the fact that what it is not doing is it's not taking code and placing it above. It is, first of all, going through the code line by line. And typically, you would think that executing straight away would cause an error, and it would, had there not been the creation phase, the preparation by the chef, the JIT compiler, because you can see that even though I'm executing this first in my script, where I'm referring to the my name variable that hasn't been created yet as of line one, and the print name hasn't been created yet as of line one, but yet for some reason, when I run it in the browser, you'll notice it says undefined, and also we get the string returned John Doe, from our callable object. So what happened in the creation phase was that it started to create memory pointers. Now, if it's a variable or a constant, and it's just a symbol name, it's actually undefined. It's just like you saying var my name. So that is all it's doing, and it returns undefined. It's just creating a memory pointer, and currently, it refers to a block of memory that's undefined or null. You may get null or undefined, it means the same thing. There's no value that's been assigned. It's just created the symbol name, the pointer. That's what it's done there. Now with functions, it's different. It did create this memory pointer, this print name, but as it is a function, a callable object, this execution context got hoisted. So you can think of functions actually getting hoisted above, like so. They are really getting hoisted. The whole body of the function, the execution context of the function is lifted up. Now, once it's done this, it will actually create that function like so. So let's take a look at it from a process where it starts. It starts reading through. It found that. It created that in memory. It found that symbol name. That's associated with a callable object. So it created that function. This is the first creation phrase. The chef that's preparing all of his ingredients, ready to execute, ready to cook. Then it goes through and it goes back up to the top again and it starts executing. So then what happens is it starts executing this. Now my name does exist, but it's not actually referencing anything. And print name has been created. This callable object has been hoisted and therefore I can paste this in now, console.log my name and print name, and then it executes, and then it will produce undefined and John Doe, because don't forget on the first pass, my name is now undefined. However, when I run it here, of course, it's going to say Lawrence because it has now been created as of executing this line of code. But prior to that, it would be undefined. And that's exactly what you have here. When you run it, undefined, and the function was hoisted, so we get John Doe. 
And also, in every execution context, you can think of this script as an execution context. We are executing what is in this script, this block of code that we've defined via our JavaScript file. This is executing. Well, we also have execution context as well. Callable objects have their execution context. These also have hoisting. So for example, I can say console.log a, and then I can say var a equals 100. Now, what are you expecting to log out in the console? Well, let's save this and hit refresh. You'll notice it logged out undefined on line seven. And here is line seven. And it's logging out undefined because what it did was it created the variable a and it created that symbol first. So it reads through execution context as well. And they also have hoisting and it's in effect saying var a up the top here. And that is equal to undefined. But of course, we just say var a. So it's creating it and then later on, it's referencing that symbol name and assigning it. But during that phase, a still is undefined. So console.log, if we try to log it out, is going to be undefined. And that's what's happening inside of it. And how can I tell this? How can I tell it's memory hoisting? Because if you try to call a symbol that doesn't exist, you get an error. So if we save it, there's no error. It's just undefined. But if I actually cut it out like so, just cut it out completely, look what happens. Reference A is not defined because it can't just randomly create it. So it is hoisting, but it's not executing this, the assignment operator is just creating the memory pointer. It's hoisting the memory pointer. So for variables and constants, it hoists only the memory pointer and it's just pointing to a blank piece of memory. And also when it comes to functions, well, if that symbol name points to a callable object, it hoists that to the top. And don't forget that each execution context has memory hoisting within it when you execute it. You can even do the same thing for an embedded function. I can say embed and this will return the string hello. So now I'm going to invoke it. So I'm going to put in a comma and then I'm going to log this out in the console. I'm going to say embed and then I'm going to execute it. So let's save it and hit refresh. And you'll notice that this entire function, this symbol name referencing this callable object was hoisted, lifted up above. And that is memory hoisting.